Hi, my name's Simon, and I'm co-founder of NoLoco. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a blank page to your NoLoco app to pull in data from different collections on the same page. To get started adding a blank page to our NoLoco app, I'm going to toggle on edit mode down here and click to add a new page. Over on the right hand side, I see the option to add a blank page, which I'm going to click. And I'm just going to rename this page dashboard, rename the URL path, and I'm also going to choose a nice image icon as well. Perfect. You can see a range of different elements that we can add to our blank page. But for now, I'm going to add a couple of collection tables and a chart as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click collection here. Now I'm going to say that I want to show data from the orders collection. First, I'm just going to change some of the data that gets shown here. So I want to show the order number, the name of the order, the total cost, and then I'm just going to reorder some of these fields here. So I want to show the order number first, status, fulfill by, total cost. I also want to show the customer as well. And then I'm going to change the display so that this should be a table instead, because it might be a little bit easier for us to read. I'm then going to update the header to just say that this is a table of orders and add a subtitle. This is a list of orders. Perfect. I'm also going to add a filter field so that I can find orders associated with a particular customer or search for orders by their order number. This is perfect for now, but let's say I also want to see line items associated with a particular order. Now, of course, what I could do is click into one of the individual orders here and add a related record collection to that orders page to see the related order line items. But perhaps I want to also have a table of order line items on this dashboard page as well. So I'm going to add another collection and I'm going to add the order line items table. Again, I might want to just change some of the fields and data that gets shown here. So I don't need the ID, but what I do want to add is the associated order number here. And maybe I want to add some other information as well, such as total cost, for example. And I might want to add the price per unit as well and the associated product. Perfect. Again, I've got the display option of rows selected here by default. So I might want to change that into a table to make it a little bit more readable in this context. And again, I'm just going to add a title here, order line items. And I might want to add a limit here as well so that I only show five order line items by default. Perfect. Then again, I want to add a filter field here so that I can search for orders with a particular order number. And again, I might want to just reorder some of the fields here to make it a little bit easier to follow. So I'm going to lead with the order number here, then the name and the price per unit, the quantity, total cost and the product as well. Or I might just move that further up. So now there might be a particular order that I want to look into and search for the related line items. So if I want to search for order 418 here, and then I can see all the order line items associated with order 418. That works really well so far. But another thing we might want to add to our dashboard is a chart showing the total cost of orders by fulfillment date. So if I toggle on edit mode again, I'm going to go ahead and add a chart here. And I'm going to say that I want this chart data to come from the orders collection. If I go into edit my chart, I'm going to choose that the value for the X axis should be the fulfill by date. And I'm also going to edit the series here and choose the total cost value for the Y axis. For the time period, I'm going to say to group by day, I'm going to add a chart title here. So the cost of orders by date. And finally, I'm going to say that this chart should take up the full width of the screen. So now you can see how you can add a blank page to your local app and pull in data from different collections all in one page.